Today, many are thankful. We're having a conversation about what students did right instead of tragedy. That is just a huge, huge win uh, for everybody because this is scary and, and potentially a, a, a very, a very, what could be a, um, a tragic incident. If you have a gun in your home, is it somewhere your child can get their hands on it? It would probably shock you or shock most parents is that when we teach firearm safety to, to kids at, at events, um, we, the first question we ask is, where's mom and dad's guns? Or who knows where mom and dad's guns are? And generally a viewed a very large number of hands who show you know, yeah, I know where they're at. A 10 year old brought this handgun to Four Corners Elementary School yesterday. It was in a backpack unloaded. When other students saw it, they reported it immediately. While 10 years old seems too young to bring a gun to school, law enforcement says it shows just how early parents need to talk about gun safety. It's something Celia Diaz, a parent of a kindergartner at the school, says she didn't even consider. I did not thought about this at all did not came to my head at all. But because of yesterday, it's a conversation she's had now. I spoke to him and explained to him how bad this is, but how, uh, how he ne also needs to be brave and just uh, to be safe. The Salem-Kaiser School District said it's very rare that a child brings a gun to school. Nationwide though, it's tougher to know just how often it actually happens. Under the Gun-Free Schools Act, schools are required to report incidents like this. But the latest numbers currently available are from three years ago and may not be completely accurate because not every incident is actually reported. According to the Department of Education, there were 1,600 reported firearm possession incidents at schools during the 2015 to 2016 school year. In the case here in Salem, the district would not say what disciplinary action was taken against the student. The law, though, requires schools to expel a student for at least a year if they bring a gun to school. But that requirement can be changed on a case-by-case -case basis. Everyone involved, though, is very thankful those students spoke up when something wasn't right. Everybody who lives here in this community together and nationwide want to see this stop and stop from happening, and this is how we do it. I'm Lindsay Nadrich, KGW News.